Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to Two Line Slot Cars. Received a package this week and I'm just now getting to open it and kind of go through it and I thought I would share it with the channel. So the first thing is I need to say thanks to George from Area 51 Raceway in North Carolina. He boxed this up and sent it to me really to help my YouTube channel and my layout. And I, I can't thank him enough. So um, shout out to, to George, too kind. And I just, again, I am really overwhelmed by what's happening in the slot car community right now with my channel and the number of people who are reaching out to me wanting to want to just help. And it's been fantastic. I released a video about going to Cincy Slots and what a great time we had there. And yeah, this is, yeah, this is just pretty amazing, guys. Let's break open the box and figure out what's inside. Um, first thing is we have a box that looks like a soldering iron, but this box actually is full of cables. We have some track pieces. So we're getting closer. We have a call box. And the best thing about this is that George did not remove his Area 51 stickers. He's got the aliens on it. That's awesome. So if you know what the call buttons are for, we are looking at folks, we can now go analog at two lines. This is the tech slots plug and race tech slot solutions. This is the box that will allow two-line speedway to go from digital to analog. George is letting me borrow it um, for a little bit so I can figure out what I'm going to do with my track. Um, mostly, I think he's trying to, to pull me into scratch building, but um, th this is amazing. So now uh, that'll be the next step for two-line speedway is to be able to go analog, uh, which honestly... Uh, when we were at Cincy Slots, we ran non-mag analog, and I I may have enjoyed that uh, just as much, if maybe not more, than the uh, digital 124 race, um, which was the second race that night. So can't wait to get this on the track. Another call box for the track. And um, we got some surprises in in the box. So here's a surprise. This is a uh, 124 Carrera C7 Corvette. Pretty sweet. Now this one, um, I'm really excited about this. This is a Carrera 124 scale uh, Porsche 917. George knows that I'm a big fan of the Porsches. Um, the 917s are one of my favorite cars of all time. Um, so I think that's why he sent this to me. Uh, so... Uh, don't have any 124 scale cars. We have one. John Mark has his GT, his Ford GT here. So now we can race. Now that I have the new power supply, I can race. Um, and then uh, let me get this box out of the way. And um, found this box inside the box. <laughs> and it is not one, not two. but four Carrera Porsche 917Ks. And these look like they all have Franken-slot guides. Feel a little heavier than normal, so maybe they've got some weight in them. And I don't know what they... They look like they still have the magnets in them. These probably will run really well on my track. And so I know George um, sent me those 917s because he knows that I like 917s. And wanted me to to kind of test and tune them on the track. So let's, uh, let's lay them out there so you can see them. Um, we'll lay all these cars out. But I've got one more. One more little surprise. <laughs> Found this in the bottom of the box. And it is a Mario Kart. I'm guessing this is 164th HO scale maybe. I don't know. It it runs with a pin. So we'll see how that performs on the track. Man, I, 
I am so excited. I'm excited about being able to convert um, the track, uh, two-line speedway, to analog. And really, Area 51, I, I don't know what else to say, but thank you for just being kind and wanting to promote the hobby. And I don't know. I I just really appreciate you and trying to help me out. I know these tech slot boxes, um, you upgraded to the Omni box. Um, the tech slot boxes are kind of hard to get right now. Um, they're not making them anymore. So I, I just really appreciate it for letting me borrow this for a few months. And uh, we'll see where the track goes. So now the next video that I do will be getting this installed on the track. So tune in. I'll do a step-by-step -step guide of installing the tech slot system onto my career digital track and we'll go from there so guys thanks really appreciate it thanks for tuning in today if you like this kind of content uh, give me a thumbs up give me a like share my videos um, hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you get notified anytime i put out a video um, just really appreciate it i'm excited holy cow i've got all kinds of testing to do right i mean check it check that out I mean, who doesn't love a golf livery 917 come on great stuff guys thanks for joining go have some fun racing